Hey there, it's John from Tiny, and I'm going to show you how to get started with our email starter config with TinyMCE self-hosted, loading premium plugins from the cloud. TinyMCE is used by HubSpot, Marketo, B, Topple.io, and many others for rich text editing in their email builders. After seeing how these email platforms have used TinyMCE, we've come up with a starter config that contains all of the plugins and configuration options that are perfect for getting started with TinyMCE in your email project. Now you might be wondering, why would I self-host TinyMCE and then load the premium plugins for the cloud? Well, there's a couple of scenarios where this may come into play. For example, you may already be using TinyMCE and have it self-hosted, and instead of switching everything to the cloud, you may just want to load the premium plugins from the cloud. On the other hand, you may already have an app using TinyMCE self-hosted, and maybe you're just looking to trial out some of the cloud features in the starter config without fully committing to a self-hosted premium plan. Either way, it's super easy to set up. Now, it's important to understand that TinyMCE offers the rich text editing capabilities that you can use within your email builder. It's not the email builder itself. That is to say, TinyMCE doesn't let you drag and drop different elements within an email builder. So you should know how to build an email builder or understand how and where you're going to include TinyMCE within that builder. Okay, let's get started. Head over to the link in the description below to get the starter config and paste it into your app. You'll see a bunch of HTML, some CSS, and the config right here with comments to help you understand what each line of code is doing. The starter config contains a fake sample app like I showed before, so you'll want to take this and adapt it to the builder that you're creating. I'm going to hit save, and when I go to reload my page, I have TinyMCE loading from the cloud, but we want to load it from self-hosted and load the plugins from the cloud. So the next step is to head on over to tiny.cloud slash get tiny. I'll include the link in the description and you're gonna download the TinyMCE SDK. Now, this is downloading a zip file, but you can also get TinyMCE through your favorite package manager like NPM, Composer, Nougat, or Yarn. And we also have over 12 framework integrations that make TinyMCE really easy to integrate with your favorite framework like React, Angular, Vue, and others. So I'm gonna take my zip file I just downloaded, extract it, and move it into my app. So we should see a JS folder there now with TinyMCE in it. And I'm gonna swap out where we load TinyMCE from the cloud and load it from my local folder. Great, so when I go to reload TinyMCE, I shouldn't get that cloud error anymore. Okay, this looks good, no more errors, but it's still not loading the premium plugins. To load the premium plugins from the cloud, we need to include another JavaScript file. We have a good article on how to do this, but for now, I'm just going to copy this script tag and paste it right below where I included TinyMCE. The way that TinyMCE loads the premium plugins is by using your API key. So if you haven't signed up for TinyMCE yet, head over to tiny.cloud and choose a plan or sign up for a 14-day free trial. Once you've signed up, you'll have access to your account screen, which will give you your API key. Copy this API key and paste it where it says no API key where we include the plugins. I'm going to save the document and reload the page. Good, so now you'll see TinyMC has all the premium features included in the email starter config. It's got spell checker, advanced code editor, and clean copy and paste. If you wanna learn more about the features included in the starter config, we've put together a product tour of the email starter config, and there's a link in the description below. Great, now you're all set to modify the email starter config to your liking. Take a look at the code comments to better understand what each config option does, and play around with the plugins, toolbar, and other settings to make it match your app. Once you've got the starter config set up the way you want it, you're gonna to wanna to set and get content from TinyMCE. There's a great article on our blog that talks about exactly how to do that. I'll include the link in the description as well. And of course, if you ever get stuck, head on over to Stack Overflow where you can post a question and the community can help you answer it. If you're on your 14 day free trial or you're part of one of our premium plans, you also have access to our enterprise grade professional support team, which can help you out with any configuration question. Well, now you're all set. In coming videos, we'll put together more content about email rich text editing best practices. Good luck.